Mace here. For many generations, my family has enjoyed Caesar dressing. In fact, years and years ago, many generations ago, we used to start out our days by saying, Hail Caesar. All jokes aside, this is a very good dressing and I enjoy making it. The ingredients for my version of the Caesar dressing include two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, three anchovies, one teaspoon of mustard, one teaspoon of anchovy paste, three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, one tablespoon of lemon, one cup of mayo, I have almonds, four cloves of garlic. We're going to start the process by cutting up the garlic. We're just going to dice it up or mince it into nice small pieces. That way when you bite into your salad you don't get a giant chunk of garlic and get crushed by it. So just doing the standard tip removal and then I'm going to do the crush and then slice. I'm the type of person that is a big fan of garlic. If you're not really a garlicky person, you might want to just put a little less in, maybe one clove or two cloves less. And you can really tailor this dressing to how it suits you and how it suits your family because I know not everybody likes this much garlic. But I'm kind of addicted to this stuff so I keep doing it. Same with the anchovies. I'm just going to slice these up here. But you don't really have to have anchovy paste and anchovies themselves in the dressing. Just having Worcestershire sauce may have enough anchovy flavor for some. If you aren't a fan of anchovies, that would probably be the way to make it. Would just uh, leave the anchovies out and just use Worcestershire sauce. Because Worcestershire sauce does contain a fair amount of anchovies right in it. But I happen to be a big fan of anchovies, so this is the way I like to do it. And I like having nice chunks of anchovies in my salad. So I'm a little bit weird. Okay, now for the fun part. Now that we have all of our ingredients ready. So we're going to get our big bowl here, put in our mayo, and then start adding in our other ingredients. Now the thing with making your own dressing is you can really fine tune the taste and get it to taste exactly the way you want it. So my recommendation is not to just dump everything in and mix it and call it a day, which is exactly what I pretty much did. It would be to add smaller amounts and uh, you can change the flavor or the texture by adding different ingredients like uh, a higher quantity of them. For instance, if it's too thick, you can add a little bit more Worcestershire sauce or a little bit of lemon and that will thin it out a little bit. If, it does, if it's not salty enough, you can either add salt or add more anchovies. And as far as the anchovies go, I recommend adding a little bit at a time, mixing it up and tasting it. You want to get it fine-tuned to where you want it. You don't just want to dump everything in and kind of hope for success. Because like I said before at the start of this, I like a lot of anchovies in my dressing and it's doubtful that everybody listening or watching this video would feel the same way. So start with a little bit, add some. Mix it up, taste it, see what you got, and then rinse and repeat till you get it exactly the way you want it. It's for this reason that it's a good idea to keep notes of exactly what you did for the next time. That way you can dial it in a lot quicker. I happen to like croutons, so we're going to make some croutons for this as well. So to do that, I have some bread here. This is not exactly the newest stuff, but it's not completely stale either. And I find bread that's not exactly fresh makes the best croutons. You want a little bit of staleness in it, but you don't want it to be like super stale. It's not making dressing for turkey or something. It's, uh, it's croutons, a little bit different. So once we got our bread all cut up, then we can move on to doing some more garlic. And I'm just going to cut the tips off like I did before and then just slice it all up. Now the amount of garlic you want, that's going to vary based on your amount of bread, so I'm not going to give an exact direction on that. And it also depends on how much you like garlic. I happen to really like garlic. And when you fry up garlic in oil, oh, it's like candy. It's delicious. Okay, we'll get ourselves a pan on the stove. Put some oil in it, turn up the heat. Probably a low-medium type of thing. And then we're just going to start cooking our garlic down. Now you don't want to burn your garlic because that tastes terrible, but if you cook it a little bit, it's like candy. It's a little bit of oil, a little bit of garlic, it's just delicious. And once you start getting a little bit of color on your garlic, then you add your bread. And then we can just cook down our bread and our garlic till it gets a little bit crispy. If you have your temperature really low, it'll dehydrate a bit, which is 
something you may want to do. You might want to get rid of some of the moisture in the bread and then turn it up a little bit to get a little bit of searing action. But have fun with it. A lot of different ways you can make croutons. And now that our croutons are ready, let's prepare our lettuce. So I'm just going to do the cutting method. So I'll take the tip off, a couple of cross cuts, and then slice it. And that should give me nice bite-sized pieces of lettuce. You can also tear it if you want. That's probably a superior method of doing this than cutting it. But it is what it is. Now we pour in our dressing. Now I probably should have used two heads of lettuce with this. In fact, that's what I did after I tried it because it was a little bit strong. And uh, if your dressing's too strong, add more lettuce, right? A lot of different ways you can counter it. And then you can serve it up and eat and enjoy. Of course, a little bit of cheese on top never hurt anybody. I don't recommend making large batches of dressing, but it's pretty easy to make a small batch. And if you have a couple people over, this is probably the perfect amount of salad dressing for them. Anyway, that's my Caesar dressing. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it any comments, concerns, and if you like my content and would like to see more of it, please like and subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome.